I'm out here at one of our food plots and here's an elevated hunting blind that we built uh, a couple of years back. I haven't really done a interior tour of this in a while so I thought I'd go ahead and film a quick tour of the blind and, and the setup that we have going here. Here it is, it sits on the edge of a food plot. The blind itself, the footprint is 8 foot by 12 foot. It has an 8 foot side wall height in the back and then it comes to a little over 10, maybe 10 and a half in the front. And it's sitting here on the edge of a clover plot and then it's got an annual. We just recently, about two weeks ago, planted this into some winter rye so it's just started to come up. We really haven't had much rain. but. Let's go ahead and swing back over here and take you on a quick tour. Okay, around the exterior you'll notice that we've got it brushed in here at the base with a bunch of brush to hide us when we're entering the blind from behind. Here's a look at the blind from side. Looking back this way is our main trail in. That allows us to drive a truck or a Jeep or a tractor in. And then we've got this cut through here. So that's how we can access it one way. But more importantly, when we're hunting, we've got this. It's just a, set, it's just a walk trail that is brush hogged out. And so during season, we could walk right in here without having to walk out in the food plot. You can see here, you really can't see the food plot very well from here. So this masks us. Here's the staircase going up. It's kind of a hybrid ladder staircase. Very solid. It's working good for us. Coming up inside. I've got the windows open. I got my crossbow in here. I was doing a little bit of target practicing out into the food plot. So we've got set up for two people to hunt out of. And uh, so you can see here's our chair of many colors. When you get into the colder months, that's an excellent place to just burrow in there and cover yourself up with some blankets and sit here in the freezing cold. Yes, we do have a little buddy heater uh, to heat this. Uh, the blind itself is completely insulated. You can see where we left off. We put uh, Amish Rough Sawn Lumber uh, one by in here and of course then it dried down and you've got gaps in between the boards which we may or may not ever put battens over it. We still got to finish this in, but we've got a plywood ceiling in it. Uh, you've got a coat rack there. There's a gun rack back here. These, those are set up to be able to black out the windows. You can see these straps right here. Those poles slide in there. And then these are just cargo uh, movers blankets, but it's really nice and black. So we can black out one of these windows and just hunt out of the other if we want. And then we can black them both out. So if we come out here before daybreak and you want to turn the light on, and believe me, that illuminates this place pretty good to get yourself set up. You can do that and then remove that cargo blanket and open one side or both sides. We've got this set up with a tree pod, a uh, shooting tripod, so that you can put your firearm or your crossbow in there. Got it set up here with a... Uh, blackout. This is Mike's chair. It's fully adjustable down here so you can set that thing up for whatever height you want. This is great for those times of the year where it's warmer. You get into archery season but that gets pretty cold. It doesn't really retain any heat when you get into November and December so that's where a lot of these blankets come in. You can throw a blanket underneath you on this thing and sit on that and it goes a long ways. 
So we've got a tripod mounted right here that's totally flexible. You can see that that's set up right now for a cell phone, but you can just as easily pop that off and put another camera on there, a video camera or whatever. This is fully adjustable. So it's easy to move it in, move it out, move it around, get it set up while you're hunting with minimal effort. And then you're all set here uh, with your firearm or your crossbow. Down here we've got another shooting stick with a footrest on it. And then you can see there's a base right here. If you choose to hunt this window rather than that window, you can pop that up move it over here, pop it in there, it gives you a different look of the food plot. If you look out into the food plot, here's the clover way out there. You got about a 75 yard shot back in the woods. Over here, you're overlooking that annual. Over here, you're going to have a difficult time getting over there with your shot. So when you're sitting here, you're predominantly hunting out in front. Here, it gives this guy the ability to hunt out that side, but you can also swing over and kind of hunt the whole thing. We've got fold down drink holders that go there. Here's another fold down drink holder here. Again, this is a gun rack. So you can put your firearm there if you need to get up, stretch your legs. A lot of times when we go in for lunch, we don't take our guns. Uh, we'll just leave them out here in the blind and lock the blind. And we'll walk back and forth with our pistols just so we have some self-defense against bears or critters or whatever. Again, you've got a, uh, a rack. you got a coat rack there. We've got another uh, tripod folded up down here. Handrail, light, some coat hooks back here. It's going to get a little bit dark in here now, but some coat hooks back here. Binoculars, trash bucket, grandson after his first kill. Out of this blind, by the way, shooting out this window and all the way back into the woods back there in the youth hunt a couple years ago. A look at the staircase going down. So there's the window closed. It just folds down. You secure it. When you fold it up, you've got that to hang on to the back of it. Just got a hook right there so that swings up. Just like you see here, it swings up and then you lock it right there. And then when you want, you swing it down and there's your pinholes. You pin it right in there. And then I'll go ahead and black this one out. So then to black it out, there you go. You just put that blanket, that moving blanket in front of there and it blacks it out real nice. That way, if you're hunting in here and you want to get up, stretch your legs, you can come over here, sit in the chair, eat a sandwich, just whatever, and get out of the way so that no movement is detected in case something came in. That is a tour of the interior of this blind.